Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel CodeLogic. So today we are going to see how to develop a faculty management system. So in our previous video, we have developed the front-end backend and the also created the admin login front-end part. So in this video, we are going to see how to develop the admin login for backend part. So before moving further, uh, if you want any school or college project, then you can contact us on our Instagram ID. The link for that is in the description box below. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in our previous video, we have developed the front-end part. Now we need to develop the back-end part. So for that, uh, we'll open that admin service. Okay. For that, we'll go inside the app module.ts file. Here, uh, we need to inject some modules like uh, HTTP routing. from the HTTP common HTTP HTTP client module and we'll write it inside our uh, imports part okay now inside our admin auth service we'll import the HTTP from Angular common HTTP. Uh, it should be HTTP client. Okay. HTTP client. And now uh, inside our constructor, we need to inject that. Private HTTP. HTTP client. Here now we'll write a method. Now we'll write a method for the admin login. Okay. It should take the two parameters username of type string and password of type string. For that we'll now go inside our environment.production.ts file and here we'll declare two variables admin username and we'll assign some value to that that is admin at the rate gmail.com and admin password We'll assign some value to that also. Okay. We'll copy that code and also paste it in our environment.ts file. Okay. We'll close both the files. Now we'll go inside our admin service and there inside login method. We'll write a method to check username but before that we need to import that environment file here so for that environment.ts file and here we'll create two variables admin username and we'll assign value to that environment dot admin username also we'll create another variable admin password and we'll assign value from the environment to that variable And we'll check if both admin username and passwords are correct. 
then we need to redirect but first uh, we'll write a message there inside our console window login is successful otherwise we'll write message login is failed and from the our login component we need to call that admin login method from service to do that we need to inject the admin auth inside our constructor and we need to call it from our admin login method and we need to pass two variables admin username and admin password which we will get from the admin login data now here if login is failed then we need to raise alert there login is failed wrong credentials okay it is successfully compiled now we have checking it so when we uh, enter correct credentials and we hit enter login button console you will see login is successful okay and when we enter wrong password there you can see login is failed alert box is coming up okay so that's it for the video so if you have any doubts or solutions you can feel free to contact us on our Instagram ID it is code logic thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye